The, the men's 100, uh, I, I didn't take too much out of it. I mean, Trayvon Brumel wins with the 9.95. Bracey, second, 10.0. Akeem Blake, third, 10.0. Coleman, fourth, 10.13. Johan Blake, 10.13. Uh, Elijah Hall, 10.14. Sonny Brown, 10.15. Sambine, 10.21. Uh, Kyrie King 1029 and I, I'm not taking really anything from this race to be honest for Bracey and Brumel I mean the it seemed like the weather wasn't great um, and the the track looked like it was wet and these two are expected to, to go one two Brumel and Bracey are expected to go one two I'm not like if you told me Bracey won you told me Brumel won I wouldn't have been surprised either way like those two are supposed to go one two I'm not taking anything when it comes to it from uh, from them what I would be taking some notes from are is Christian Coleman's performance. So uh, Christian Coleman is kind of not been in the right situations as of recently. He runs a 10.13 or it was a 10.13. Yeah, 10.13. So he's not really trending in the right direction here. Now you do have to come take into consideration he is coming off of an 18 month suspension. So it's been a long time since he's competed. Uh, and it's a similar type of thing that we saw uh, when you take a look at um, Gatlin's return. Like it took it took some time for, for him to get back into the swing of things here. So, you know, it's it's understandable that, that you're you're not gonna be running at your best, but it's uh I'm I'm hoping that this year is just kind of a a wash year for him where it's like look I, I'm coming off suspension. It, it just wasn't it wasn't my year, uh, you know, when it when it comes down to it. And we'll get after it next season because when you look at the times that he's running, it's like you're better than this. Like the Christian Coleman that we know is not the Christian Coleman we're seeing this year. Like this guy, like we said before, he had never in his entire career he had never ran a 10-0 or above race three times in a row. He had never done it uh, since he broke. 10 seconds and now he's he hasn't ran a, a nine second race back to back once like so this isn't the christian coleman that we know like he is running slow as hell compared to how good he is like we know he's better than this and so um my big question is what's the christian coleman we're gonna get next this year i'm i'm, ca I'm cashed out on, on him right now like he's just not he's not running as as well as we know he can like he's ran his, his 987 once he did that the, the the u.s championship but other than that we're seeing a bunch of 10 ones you know 10 09s 10 13s like all of these things they're just not it's not christian coleman-esque and so uh it's understandable you know you're you've been off the track for a little while now when it comes to competition and all these other people are now new names that you weren't worrying you didn't have to worry about when you were you were there like he didn't have to worry about trayvon Brumel back in 2019 same with like marvin bracy he wasn't worried about fred curley like these guys are either injured or not competing in his event and now these are three guys that you got to worry about and so it's a whole new situation whole new faces whole new names that he's you know going up against and it's uh it's going uh it's clearly showing it's just not not things just aren't working for him and like, like I said, I think it's fine. Uh, I, I think next year will be a bigger deterrent on, or not determined, determinating factor on how's the remainder of his career gonna go. Is this just kind of like a dry spell or is this gonna be the new kind of Coleman we see? I don't think it is. I think he'll figure stuff out and next year will be a better year for him. But you know, it's it's fine. Like in, in, whole, in all other sports, you're allowed to have a bad year. Uh, in basketball, football, all that, you're allowed to have a down year and your legacy isn't tarnished. It's just crazy in track and field. You have a bad year and everyone's like, uh, you're you're never gonna win again. Uh, you're gonna be you're gonna be garbage for the rest of your career, which I think is dumb. Uh, but uh, I'm hoping he gets a, a bounce back because this season just just hasn't been hasn't been it for him.